All right, next up, I want to do a quick demo of what I feel is one of the most underrated chart types, the tree map. And you'll find the tree map right here in the visuals pane. Looks like a little box split up into smaller boxes, which is exactly what the visual is going to look like. And obviously, we're a little tight on space. I don't want to squeeze it in here, try to resize anything we already have. So I think it would be a good idea to modify our total orders by category bar chart here because the way we're showing data in this view actually lends itself very, very well to a tree map visual. And I'll show you what I mean right now. With one click, we can convert that from a bar into a tree map. And basically a tree map is designed to show composition. So in this case, we're seeing how the total order volume breaks down into different categories and segments, in this case, product categories. So without even looking at the data labels themselves, you can get a very clear, very quick picture of relative volume and proportion here. So you can see that accessories drove the largest order share, followed by bikes, followed by clothing, by simply comparing the size of the rectangles that they make up. And in fact, one thing that I really like about tree map visuals is that they can be extremely effective without showing a single number at all. So to show you that, let's actually go into labels and I'm gonna turn off the data labels entirely. So now we're not seeing a single number, yet we're still communicating a very clear story about how those order volumes break down by product category. And of course, we still have our tool tips, which kind of embeds deeper information if the user chooses to access it. Otherwise, it's a very simple, very clean, yet very effective visual. And now remember, because we also have subcategory built in here as well into the fields list, that means we have access to our drill down capabilities. So check it out. Here's a tree map by subcategory. And the way to read this, again, is just by looking at the relative sizes of the rectangles for each subcategory. So we've got tires and tubes starting in the upper left, helmets, road bikes, bottles and cages, mountain bikes, and then you start getting into smaller and smaller and smaller fractions of that total order volume until you're down here at bike stands, which is the lowest volume, which you see is reflected right here in the bar chart as well. So obviously our title might need to change if we're allowing viewers to see this tree map by either category or subcategory, but let's drill back up. We'll default to showing it by category. And there you have it. I think that gives us kind of a nice balance We've got some visuals that are very dense, very information heavy. We've got others that are designed to really just draw attention to key business metrics. We've got purely visual designs as well, plus user controls so that our clients can completely customize the view that they're looking at. So I'm really happy with this executive summary view. I think it serves its purpose. Next up, we're gonna continue to dig into a few different visual types, start exploring some more advanced tools, and build out a new tab to really dig deep into product-specific performance.